Hey everybody, Andy Sachs here with Coldwell Banker and the Around Town team for our second installment of the month of November of our twice monthly video blog series. And today I want to talk about inspections. There is no doubt that the inspection process in our market is the hardest hurdle to overcome in the sales and transaction process. Obviously, finding the house is one or finding the right buyer is one, negotiating the right sale price is there, getting the mortgage is there, but the hurdles and where we trip up the most, where our buyers and sellers are stumbling the most, is in the inspection process. And what we found is that it's all about setting expectations up front, whether you represent the seller or the buyer. And what it comes down to, guys, is pretty simple. If it's not a health and safety issue, if it's not a major mechanical issue, if that foundation is not sound, those are the issues you go for. Beyond that, you can't ask for it, guys. You can't ask for some chip paint to be painted on the inside because it doesn't look pretty. You can't ask just because something might be beyond half its life for it to be replaced if it's been serviced and functioning properly. Now, I say the word can't loosely because people are always going to ask and we want to represent our buyers in the best way we can if it's something very important to them. But at the end of the day, have your expectations already in place. Understand that you're probably not buying a brand new home and that you're going to inherit some age with it, and that should be reflected in the sale price up front, not in a reading a whole new renegotiation round after inspections. Now, there's always exceptions to the rule, there's always things that pop up. It's why we have inspections. At the, at the end of the day, as a buyer, you're not comfortable with that house. If you can't incur some of the maybe future expenses from an older system, then walk away. That's why we have these inspections. And as a seller, the best thing you can do is disclose everything you know about the house in the state mandated disclosures. Be as upfront and honest as possible so that a buyer understands fully to the best of their knowledge and to the best of your knowledge what they're getting into. It, it eliminates so much strife and heartache later on when deals fall through if everybody's upfront and honest at the get-go. Now, my name is Andy Sachs with Coldwell Banker with the Roundtown team, and we look forward to working with you soon.